Hello there, family fans and viewers from across the world. So it jumps here. A new day, a new beautiful day, and a new video today. Well, today's video, I want to do is different. And I want to do a little uh, uh, aerial filming. So, and right now, um, it's pretty cold. It's about 38 degrees out here. I'm looking for a spot. A couple of things that I want to um, mention here is that um, when I'm getting ready to do one of my um, aerial filmings, I always like to go to places where less crowds. I don't like to be in the crowd. Uh, what I mean by that is when you um, when you go to places and it's really packed with a lot of people, um, questions and and touching and stuff and comes right along with that. And I don't I I, I love filming when there's a lot of people, but the part that um, you have to be careful is the part where they like to be touching. And I'm not saying it because I'm don't like to film. Uh, with crowd people I just it's just a part where um, the questions and answers will will be um, said but um, but the touching is the part that you it, and it's everywhere so just be careful when you uh, in crowds of people and um, you, you don't want them to drop it by accident your uh, stuff um, especially when you're filming with your quadcopter uh, there's a lot of people that are um, curious about the quadcopters. Not everybody had quadcopters and they would like to see them uh, close in person. I like to find places where uh, they're hard to um, get to. You know, those are my favorite parts. The parts where they're hard to get to and you can't really reach. Um, but that's when you send your quadcopter to do it. You know, and today's video is going to be with the Phantom 4 Pro. I'm going to be recording upwards. So I have one camera looking forward and one camera looking upwards. Um, I already did the setup. I did an invention already. I tried to put it to the test. It worked out fine, but I was having issues with um, I was having issues with the satellite and the GPS. I wasn't getting signal. But the good thing about it is that even when you don't have um, GPS signal or GLONASS satellite signal, um, you can still use, uh, of course, the remote control signal because you're not gonna lose the remote control signal. And due to my test and my experience of being a drone pilot, you, if, if you, you lose your GPS signal or your GLONASS signal, you still have remote control signal, okay? Just wanna let you know that right now. So, um, but, uh, but yes, I mean, I really don't recommend when you're flying and, and you're flying on just the remote control signal because it's it's okay but you don't want to overdo it you don't want to uh pretty much take your uh quadcopter and do a mile with your remote control signal uh, i wouldn't do that i wouldn't recommend you for you to do that okay so um again um when i do my flights it has to be um uh more than seven satellites uh before i take off and again i mean and again there's no and again you still have a um, remote control signal but um but that's in my in my opinion okay so um so i found the spot here hopefully we can go ahead and get this done um we're gonna go ahead and see um what can we get done today okay all right so stay tuned and um we're gonna do this test okay i have the phantom 4 pro ready there it is and i'm about to start 